United, Young Q7, Victoria, Victoria. Good afternoon, Europe 4, 10, 5 by 9, QSL. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at an HF antenna called the PTGP1. Now this antenna supports 7 megahertz up to 54 megahertz, so 40 meters up to 6 meters. Now in the box, we find the balance section, which the ground rod attaches to, along with the main element and the radio coax via an SO239 socket. Now, now they call it the ballon in the manual, but I don't think it is an actual ballon. I think it's just a connection, although I can't be sure because I haven't seen inside it. Also in the box, we find an extension rod, which is used for when operating between 7 and 13 megahertz. Now, you do not need this rod inserted when you're using 20 meters up to 6 meters. The top part of the antenna element is in the form of a telescopic whip. Now this makes fine tuning of the required band fairly easy as you adjust the length to get that perfect match just by sliding it up and down. Another item in the box is the matching coil which easily fits in line between the extension rod and the telescopic whip. And now this is for when using between 7 and 13 MHz also. The last items in the box, we find four ground radials, which are terminated with a ring connector. These slide over the thread part of the earth spike, which I'll show you later. Now, I've never seen this type of wire being used for radials before, so it will be interesting to see how well these work. Now, I'm almost tempted to separate each of these wires, but I'll test them as they came all joined together like this. So out in the garden, we have the coax running into the conservatory where I'll sit with my G90 radio to test this antenna. The first thing we need to do is attach the ground wires between the SO239 housing and the ground spike. These just slide over the threaded area and then I just need to tighten up the ground pin. Now we just push the ground pin into the garden, making sure it's nice and straight, although it kind of doesn't look like that in the video. Now the ground pin doesn't look very long, but it is long enough to hold the entire antenna vertical. And once pushed in, I need to drag out the radials and we're going to do it in a kind of cross formation with these. I'm going to start off on 40 meters with this antenna. So we need the inductor and the extension bar attached. These are screwed together quite easily and then screwed into the SO239 housing. Now I must say, all of these parts do feel very good quality and sturdy. They actually feel quite solid in the hand, which I think is quite important. So with the top section attached and fully extended, I'm now going to check the SWR on 40 meters using the inbuilt SWR feature of the G90 radio. Right, okay, so first thing I need to do is set, check the SWR. Wow. That's not too bad. The antenna is fully extended. So it's fully extended. So we're looking at about 1.5 down to one to one right at the end, which is quite nice. So I think, yep, it can't go any longer than that. It, I mean, if you wanted to get really specific, then you would want it a little bit longer um, to bring it down sort of to one to one in the middle of the band, about 7.1 maybe, but uh, Right at the bottom of the band, it's about 1.5. So that's perfectly usable for uh, 40 meters. But let's see if we can make some contacts. Uh, Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec, Whiskey. Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec, Whiskey. Yes, thank you. Very good afternoon. My name is Reiner, Reiner, and I'm 120 kilometers southwest of Hanover in Gütersloh, Gütersloh, Delta, Juliet 8, Charlie Lima. Thank you very much uh, for uh, for allowing me in. The name here is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango. Uh, Mike Alpha Tango, Matt is the name. Uh, my locator is uh, India Oscar 91 November Tango. That's India Oscar 91 November Tango. And this afternoon, I'm just trying a, uh, a, a loaded quarter wave ground mounted with 20 watts of power, just two zero 
WhatsApp Pal this afternoon. So microphone back to you from M0 DQW. So at this point, I switch to 20 meters and do a quick SWR check on the G90. All I done was drop the antenna down a couple of sections, remove the little inductor and the extension rod, and then I just come back and check the tuning. As you can see here, well, it's pretty much one to none. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, you're also 59, 59 into the UK. Operating name here is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango QSL. Yeah, 73, bye bye. Next up was a quick test on the 17 meter band. As you can see here, the SWR is really good. And obviously, I did go out previously and adjust the antenna. And now I shortened the antenna. As we go up in frequency, the antenna needs to be shorter. Obviously, when you do this, just make sure that you do it in small increments because if you go too far the other way, then you'll find it harder to tune and find that sweet spot. So, so just do it small bits at a time, maybe two or three inches. Now, I didn't manage to get a contact on 17 meters because I was quite eager to get up to 28 megahertz, i.e. 10 meters. It's been absolutely astonishing lately and I wanted to see how well it worked and see if I could make a contact. So have a listen to this. Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero? Yeah, Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Delta Queen Whiskey. Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. United Yankee 7, Victoria, Victoria. Good afternoon, you're reporting 5 by 9, you tell? 
Yeah, QSL, QSL. You're 59 plus 10 dB, 59 plus 10 dB into the United Kingdom this afternoon. I'm running 20 watts, 20 watts from a ground mounted quarter wave. QSL? Uh, roger, roger, not problem. Where is the room? You said well from you. Yes, yeah, 73 is bye-bye and good DX. Well, there we go, guys. The PT GP1 multiband antenna. Now, if you're currently in the market for an antenna like this, and I would recommend it, I'm not entirely sure of the overall weight of all the components, but I'm pretty sure it would fit nice and snug into a backpack for those activations like SOTA or POTA. Of course, if you have a small garden, you could always use this as a permanent installation, not taking up much space and relatively low impact visually. Now, I didn't get to test the antenna on the six meter band because there was no real conditions for it, but I'm sure it works just as well as any other ground mounted quarter wave vertical for six meters. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna go and check it out. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.